Help Story Team. Ruth and Jack here, yeah, I won't forget you. And and a very excited crow. If this is your first time, don't worry. You can join in Story Team whenever you like. And you can be of any age and from anywhere in the world to join in. Crow is very excited about all the brilliant ideas you sent him this past week. Thank you all so much. Okay, Crow, I'll get on with it. I think he thinks I've talked too much. Do you think that, Jack, as well? Anyway, here is this week's story update. As you will remember last week, Crow started to feel a bit nervous about all the new folk he was about to meet. He couldn't move his wings or even attempt to fly as he was feeling really nervous and not a little bit shy. Day turned into night and it was getting late when Crow heard a cry for help coming from the woods so he went to investigate. He flew through a hole in the roof of a witch's house and felt pretty scared. For what he was about to see, he wasn't prepared. A cage with a sad bird with nothing to eat or drink. He didn't know what to do and there was no time to think. He heard a small voice telling him where to find the key. So he quietly opened the cage and set the bird free. The birds had escaped and Crow felt proud of himself for being brave and invited his new friend along with him on his trip to Cumbria now that he was saved. So the two set off on their journey, swooping and soaring as they flew. When a murder of Cumbrian crows from Penrith, I believe, appeared out of the blue. They were carrying signs to cheer on our crow for the brilliant bravery he had put on show. Go crow! Go crow! they said. Fly like the wind! Don't go slow, Crow. We believe in you no end. And with the fact that others believed in him, Crow realised that he was really proud. And he began to believe in himself too, that he said it out loud. It's okay to feel nervous. Everyone does. And the feeling of overcoming this gave him such a buzz. With these words of encouragement, Crow and his pal picked up the pace as they made their way to meet their new friends in Cumbria and see them face to face. All the Cumbrian animal characters were so excited, some of them had even baked. So they put up a sign to say, out here there is cake. Crow and Bird were excited 100%, so they got their wings prepared, ready for their descent. Their new friends greeted them with yummy cake and a wonderful hello. The most perfect welcome for our shy yet adventure-loving Crow. After the cake was eaten by everyone with either their paws, tentacles or even their beak pecks, they all wondered what they should do together to have fun. And what was going to happen next? Story team. Oh, yeah. Here is your mission. What activities should Crow and Bird do with their new friends? You might like to think about the things you like to do to have fun with your friends. It could be a game or a new sport for Crow to try. You are the experts and know how to have fun. So what should Crow and his new friends do together so fun can be had by everyone? 
draw us a picture of your fun activity for Crow to do with his friends and tell us a little bit about it. You can send these ideas to storyteam at theatrebythelake.com by Thursday the 12th of August at 2pm. Please also send your name, age and your postcode so we can make sure you can be credited for your ideas. And if you fancy joining us for an in-person workshop, Crow and I will be at Barrow Library on the 12th of August at 11am. Spaces are limited so you'll need to book a ticket by calling the library. We're then at Whitehaven Library on the 19th of August at 11am and Kendall Library on the 26th of August at 11am. And you can book these tickets via Eventbrite and details of the upcoming workshops can be found via the Theatre by the Lake Story Team page. And whilst you're there, why not check out all the ideas submitted so far on the Story Team Living Archive, where you can search for your ideas and see all the brilliant things Story Teamers from across the county have been up to. Tune in again on Monday the 16th of August at 2pm when we will share the next part of the story. And you will get the next story mission. You've got this story team. Ready, steady, crawl.